Park Bo Goom was born in Seoul, South Korea, on 16 June 1993. Though his clean cut features and smooth skin may suggest otherwise, the reality is, his life hasn't been a bed of roses. As the youngest of three siblings, his mother was pregnant with him at a late age. She was suffering from an illness and consumed prescription medicine, not knowing she was pregnant at the time. After his parents learned about the pregnancy, they considered aborting him, as they were worried about giving birth to a deformed child. Fortunately, his parents decided to proceed with the pregnancy, but the challenges did not stop there. At birth, he had a high fever and was gravely ill for several days. However, he eventually recovered and was named Bogum, meaning precious sword. Unfortunately, his life trials did not stop there. He had to lose his mother's love when he was a child. His mom passed away when he was in fourth grade. In the program Youth Over Flower, Park Bogum recalled his painful time. He shared that he have a lot of childhood pictures because his parents loved taking pictures of him. Sadly, they didn't take pictures of them together. His manager also revealed that this was very important to Bo Goom. That's why during his study time in Europe, he went to all the places that his parents went to before and took a picture of himself at the place. Bo Goom grew up in Mokdong, the Yangtze and Gu district of Seoul. He spent most of his childhood there. And he attended Seoul Mokdong Elementary School and Mokdong Middle School. Initially, he wanted to be a singer-songwriter. He learned how to play the piano in kindergarten, that's why he really dreamed of being a musician. He was part of the choir at church and even directed musical productions. He also learned playing the cello for his role in Cantabile Tomorrow. In high school, Bo Goom recorded himself singing while playing piano and sent the video to talent agencies. It led to several offers, including from Cytus HQ, one of the leading talent management agencies in South Korea. But, the company suggested him to change his path to become an actor instead, which he accepted. He shifted his career direction right away. But Bo Goom never lost sight of his initial passion for music. During his recent hiatus, he was able to finish his degree in musical theater in Myeongji University. He was the music director for his graduating production. While studying in Myeongji University, he was chosen to be an exchange student in Europe. Where he met other exchange students from other countries, they became close and even traveled to England, France, Italy, and Switzerland. He finally fulfilling the promise of his earlier singles with the release of his first full-length album, Blue Bird, in March 2020. Bo Goom had his first taste of fame with the drama Hello Monster, 2015, in which he acted as a psychopath. He received rave reviews for his acting after the show aired. 
He then went on to win Best Supporting Actor in the Popularity Actor Award at the year-end KBS Drama Awards at the age of 22. And it was the hit nostalgic series Reply 1988 that made Park Bo Goom a household name. He played as Choi Teg, a genius Go board game player among his friends. Soon afterwards, Bo Goom was cast as the charming lead in Love in the Moonlight, 2016. Love in the Moonlight was another drama that solidified Park Bo Goom's status as a leading Korean celebrity. Ratings for the drama peaked to 25.3%. The Korean Business Research Institute even conducted a study on Bogum's high brand reputation. This led to the coining of the term, Park Bogum Effect. The results proved Bogum's high effectivity as an endorser for all demographics. This was also proven every time he appears as a guest on a variety and the episode ratings immediately peaks. But let's back up a bit. Before his stint in reply, Bogum took on supporting roles that were far from his dreamy image of today. For example, his debut role was in the crime thriller Blind, 2011, where he played as punky troublemaker. He also played as carefree playboy in Mama's Boy, in the weekend drama Wonderful Mama. And starred in the melodrama Wonderful Days, 2014, as the teenage version of So Jin's character Dong Sok. On the same year, he portrayed a cello prodigy in Neil's Cantabile. Soon after these projects, he also scored several commercial endorsement deals, hosted music and award shows, and made an appearance in the final episode of the hit Edwin class. Park Bo Goom may seem calm and serious, but he knows how to have fun too. His bombastic dance for the trailer of Love in the Moonlight made a hot headlines when it first came out. Since then, he's been asked to showcase his dancing on several variety shows. Park Bo Goom is known as a nice guy through and through. He is friends with many celebrities in the entertainment industry too. Some of his closest buds are Song Jong Ki, Jo In Soon, Cha Tae Hyun and V from BTS. Before his popularity skyrocketed in 2016, Park Bo Goom filed for bankruptcy in 2014. He was once used by his father as a guarantor. His father borrowed money from moneylenders, with a nominal amount that was quite large for capital to build a business. Because his father was unable to pay the debt, the loan asked Park Bo Goom to pay off the debt when he had just debuted and started his career in the entertainment world. Not knowing about his father's debt, Park Bo Goom appealed to the court and submitted official documents regarding the bankruptcy of his father's business. Luckily, Park Bo Goom was released to pay the debt because his father used his name when he was not old enough. In the end, he only paid 30 million won. Due to the inflated debt caused by his father, Park Bo Goom reached a breaking point in his life in March 2015. Not wanting to be stuck for too long, he restarted his career and cleared his tarnished name from the media. His hard work paid off. The money that was slowly collected from activities in the entertainment world brought him to the level of success today. Park Bo Goom also has various luxury assets, and his net worth is estimated at $15 million in 2018. This number is increasing in 2021. With various activities from dramas, endorsements, advertisements, to variety shows.